Hi, and welcome back to another episode. Last time I left you where Professor Fig got called to an important meeting right when we were about to go to the restricted area. But little does he know, I have some plans to go there, but with somebody else. The person I had in mind was Sebastian Swallow. He seems like a troublemaker himself, so he might be a perfect companion for a mission like this. Let's see what he says. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Well, that was quick. That took no convincing at all. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. So Sebastian basically taught me a spell that could turn me invisible. I knew he was the perfect person to bring along. That sounded suspicious. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. I guess I'm not really good at following directions because I kind of did everything wrong. First, I got the key right in front of the teacher. Then, when Sebastian did his distraction, I walked right into it. But somehow, we still made it to the edge of the restricted area and made our way down. So even though we were invisible, we could still be seen by ghosts, so we did have to use some distraction tactics in order to get around them. On this mission, I did get to learn a little bit more about Sebastian Swallow and some of his past, but also what he's doing here. I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. I wasn't really trying to keep Sebastian in the dark here. I just truly didn't know what I was looking for. I just knew it was a book. And there is something weird about this place. I wanted to spin every single globe I came across here. Exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, 
Where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair it. Man, I don't know if I can trust the Slytherin, but Sebastian hasn't let me down yet. Hopefully, this was a good decision to bring him here. But, I don't know if y'all can hear it. These walls. These halls. They whisper to you. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. Step into the room. There must be more to this room. That's it. Go through the door. Do it. Door. Wow, we don't step and talk. Or if I step to talk, I'm just on that step. Oh, good. You missed it. Good, 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 good. The lights are falling. The lights are falling. I hope he doesn't see that chest over there. Surprising. Guards at the ready. Not ever cadaver. Not ever cadaver again. be the way forward. But to where? Touch the These armored guys in this room were very, very tough. I nearly died, but I did learn there's an edge to both sides. Maybe I could just push them off. <laughs> that strategy did work, and I was finally able to get them taken care of. Is a book after all.
Willy. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Are we not going to talk about how menacing she looks right here? That's kind of creepy. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian, what will your uncle say? The next morning, I headed straight to Professor Fig's office to tell him what I found. He happened to be talking to somebody else who had some of the worst peripheral vision I've ever seen. Wood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Did it really take him that long to see me? I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? 
thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. After leaving Professor Fig's office, I got some mail. One from Lucan and then one from Natty. And she wanted to meet in a secret location to discuss something important. I wonder what that could be. Find out next time on episode 6. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you've made it this far in the episode, type down What's Up Natty in the comment section below. That way I know how far everybody's watching. Also, if you did like it, hit that like button. And always leave me a comment with anything that you've experienced in the game so far. Love to hear from you guys. But till next time, peace out everybody.